Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja and today I want to talk to you about Ben Lynch methylation. So if you are searching the term Ben Lynch methylation, it means that you know that Dr. Lynch is pretty much on the forefront of um, methylation research, MTHFR, genetic impact, inability to feel good, and chances are you've learned, you've done some research and you've found out that you have an MTHFR gene SNP or a mutation or inefficient uh, processing of, of energy and you're looking for more information. And what I want to do is I want to tell you specifically what he teaches because I think it will help you all go a long way in terms of looking at your health condition a little bit differently. Whether you're suffering with an adrenal fatigue problem, crashing in the middle of the day, not handling stress very well, having anxiety, potentially having brain fog, feeling cold, not able to lose weight, um, also brain uh, depression, anxiety, um, insomnia, uh, a lot of different things that you could be dealing with and you are frustrated and you've been to a number of doctors and now you're taking some of the research into your own hands and you're probably looking for a, a nutritional solution that you can use to fix the problem and I want you to understand that what Dr. Lynch teaches is about genetics versus epigenetics. So first let's talk about methylation. Methylation is quite simply just a C with three H's or carbon with three H's. That's a methyl group and our body does a lot of um, a lot of biochemistry which methylation is just one component to that. There is a lot of different types of reactions that occur in the body but methylation is quite simply about adding a CH3 group onto the enzyme, uh, the substrates or the things that are occurring in your body. And so if you have a methylation defect, you're not going to be able to methylate optimally or you're not going to be able to make things optimally or you're not going to be able to break things down optimally. And these things are energy production in your body. So being able to um, being able to make neurotransmitters and being able to make hormones and being able to fight off an infection and being able to regenerate DNA and being able to fight um, and create free uh, radicals or antioxidants to fight off free radicals or regenerate your skin or your hair or your teeth or your nails or your bone or your gut flora. You need to be able to do these things in order to feel good. But what I really want to tell you is Dr. Lynch is going to be the first person to tell you that at the end of the day, no matter how nerdy we get and we learn about your genetics and we learn about the SNPs and, and how the DNA isn't able to re replicate, at the end of the day, the most important factor is the epigenetics, the things that are causing the genetics to express themselves. So things like an infection, things like heavy metal toxicity, things like environmental pollutants and pesticides, and things like heavy metal toxicities or a bacteria growth. All of these things are epigenetic factors. So think of genetics as the, the loaded gun and think about epigenetics as the trigger. And if you just focus on genetics and search Dr. Lynch and want to know most specifically about what's going on with your 23andMe results and you don't focus on the epigenetic component, you're missing out on a huge, huge variable of it. So anyways, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. You can find out more from me on my YouTube channel. It's called Your Adrenal Fix. Um, just give me a share, a thumbs up, a like. Make sure you subscribe to it. Check me out on my Facebook page. It's called Adrenal Fatigue Recovery. And then lastly, we have a um, blog called AdrenalFatigueSociety.com. Look forward to helping you in your uh, genetic nightmare or your epigenetic and genetic perfect storm nightmare. Um, we give free consultations so click under this link underneath here and we will do a no obligation free 15 minute phone consult to troubleshoot your epigenetic genetic slash genetic components. Thank you so much.